So here's something I was thinking about recently. Why would someone invest more money in something that already works? For example, a car. Whether you buy an expensive car or a not expensive car, they're really all designed to do one thing, and that's to take you from point A to B. So then why would someone invest more money in something like the Tesla instead of something like a Nissan Altima? And for me personally, it comes down to one big thing, comfort. Shooting with the iPhone 15 Pro Max has been absolutely amazing. There are so many benefits that you get. However, if you want a more comfortable experience when shooting with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, then this video may be for you and this cage here may also be for you. So recently I took a work trip to Costa Rica and I was able to bring the Beast Grip iPhone 15 Pro Max cage with me and get a bunch of shots. So there are some things that came up, some thoughts, some comments that I would like to make in this video. And I would also like to show you the footage that I was able to get out of the iPhone, which if I'm being honest, I'm just gonna say it at the beginning of the video, I'm incredibly impressed by. So let me show you some of the clips right quick. The kids are awesome at it. Yeah. Oh my really great workshop here as far as like what questions can we start to ask ourselves to shift from the finite to the So jumping into the cage itself, you get a cage that's easy to put your iPhone in, first of all. I've had cages before where I've had to remove screws, like I literally had to carry around a screwdriver to pull my phone out of the cage. And obviously, like that's not really ideal. You want to be able to unclip like you can with this cage, pull out your phone, or clip it in to actually lock in and secure the phone itself. Now the next thing that's really important to me, which this cage also offers, is multiple mounting solutions. So you have a cold shoe on here, which you can slide a microphone onto, a video light. Um, if you have like a mount for an SSD, you can mount that on there as well. You really can do a ton with this cage. In fact, for you guys who've seen the Apple Keynote where they shot it with the iPhone, this is the cage that they used. Now what's really cool about this cage that other cages don't really offer is the fact that you can actually switch out the mount around the camera lenses itself. So they really are thinking about creators first when they made this whole system because Bscript actually sells their own lenses. However, they didn't mind making a mount for you to actually put on a moment lens onto this cage. I really don't use a lot of moment lenses nowadays. Mainly all I need is the option to put on an ND filter, but that also brings me to the wide millimeter lens that they offered and that they sent as well. I did find myself using this a lot. So this wide conversion lens basically allows you to take the main sensor of the cameras, which is the most high quality one, and give it a wide look. This is important because the other wide angle isn't as high quality as the main camera lens. So for me, while I was in Costa Rica, the main adapter that I kept on the back of the lenses was this M17 X 0.75 millimeter um, adapter. And the reason for that is because it allowed me to put on this small variable ND filter, which is mainly, honestly, all that I would need if I didn't have anything else whenever I'm shooting with my iPhone. In my opinion, one of the main things that allows someone to tell if you're shooting with the iPhone or not is if the shutter speed is way off. So I think that it's almost like a non-negotiable to have a variable ND filter or just an ND filter on the back of those lenses so that you can make that shutter speed double the frame rate, which honestly kind of just hides and blends the image so well that it's kind of hard to tell that it didn't come off an actual camera. And with that being said, you can see in these clips that 
literally it looks so good like i would compare the quality of this to something like a canon eos r i know it's a little bit of an older camera but the quality that you're able to get right out of this setup is amazing but again like we talked about at the beginning of this video you can get that same quality technically without the actual cage. So how was the shooting experience? Did this cage overall make me have a comfortable experience? So honestly, I would say overall, I really do enjoy the way that this feels in your hand. Having this handle on the side allows you to be able to put the phone in whatever position that you need and get whatever angle you need and just add a little bit more stabilization to the video footage overall whenever you're doing those handheld shots or you're just out and about, and you're trying to get some good footage. And then partnered with that, kind of going back on what I just said a little bit, you do need something like this to actually make sure that that shutter speed is locked in. So you need a way to actually put the ND filter on the back, and this is a solution that makes it super easy. The main thing, like I've said before, that I really liked about this is that you can leave this rig set up exactly how you want all the time, which is what I did in Costa Rica, and then I can just pull my iPhone out and go to filming and then put it right back in. Super easy, super quick, and it allows me to get the shot really quick, which was super important for me while I was filming wildlife while I was out and about in the jungle. Now there are a few negatives that I noticed while using this cage. Number one is the fact that you can't actually use the MagSafe on the back of the phone which was a huge disappointment to me because I really like being able to use a MagSafe battery pack to keep my phone charged while I'm using a USB-C port for either like a microphone or recording directly to the SSD. But the actual lens mount on the back slides out just enough to where the MagSafe just isn't usable. Now the next thing is that on one of the actual clamps that you get where you're supposed to use it to attach filters, it's kind of like a weird millimeter that you don't see a lot. I wish it was more like the millimeter of this guy right here, like a 62 and really preferably a 67, which is way more common of a millimeter thread. So if you're gonna be getting an ND filter, just make sure that you get one that actually fits what they offer. I think it was like a 55 millimeter thread, which again, I don't really have that. None of my camera lenses for Sony have that thread size. Most of them, like the one I'm filming on now, is a 67 millimeter. So I have all different types of threads for that. However, this little guy right here, which is another adapter, like I said, that I use the most, it did fit the iPhone variable ND that I had, which is a 37 millimeter. So thumbs up there, this worked. I'm just not sure that this is what you're like they made it for, but I know really they made this cage overall to be as modular as possible. So I'm glad that they did have this. I just wish that I could have used my big one that covers all the camera lenses instead, which was like a 77 millimeter and I didn't have the actual step up ring. And the last negative is, oh, I mean, honestly, that's pretty much it. <laughs> There's not really any more negatives. There was only those two things. Overall, I really loved shooting with this cage. It allowed me to get some stable shots. It made the shooting experience fun too. Like I said at the beginning of this video, whenever you're choosing to buy a more expensive car over a cheaper car, which both, again, achieves the same exact thing, getting you from point A to B, you would like your experience to be fun. You want it to be comfortable. And I would say that this is what this cage is for. Oh, about this? Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's insane. It's very, it does not look like, even looking through the phone, it doesn't look like phone quality one bit. Yeah. And it's very smooth. Like even if I pan like quickly, that looks very, like even, it's just professional looking. Can yeah. this mount work for short form? Uh, yeah, yeah. You would just, um, you would just pull this guy off and oh, then you, you yeah, put the screw here yeah. and then you could go short form. But honestly, what's even cooler. But you have the wide lens so you can record. Yeah. Oh, but watch this, watch this. Horizontal and then crop later. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot you could do this too. Ooh. That's a legit vertical mount. That's awesome. Huh, get it. That is awesome. No, it's just like the phone. Like it's literally just the phone lens. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, just it the phone lens. But it still looks really good. So if you are someone like myself who does like to film a lot with your phone or you want to be able to have something to make the iPhone look a little bit even more professional when you're on a client shoot, you just want an extra angle. This is exactly what you would buy, in my opinion. Asher is over here and he's so excited and he's wiggly. Let's see if he's smiley for you guys. Oh, he's so white because it's so bright. 
Hopefully, I can turn on the exposure. Oh. I think that's all that we have for you, though. Um, all right. See you guys in the next video. Hey, if you're interested in some more iPhone content, check out this video right over here.